Good morning, children. Today I have uh, taken this poem, A Photograph by Shirley Toulson. So listen very carefully. I am going to explain every bit of it. Now, uh, first of all, I will tell you a little bit about Shirley Toulson. Shirley Toulson was born on May 20, 1924 in England. She served as the editor of many magazines. She was greatly influenced by Celtic Christianity. Celtic Christianity means related to the Celts, a family of uh, languages connected with the people of and the culture of Scotland, Wales and Ireland and which is reflected in most of her major works uh, like Celtic Alternative and Celtic Year. Now here is this poem which we are going to read now. The poem is uh, melancholic in nature. And uh, it is basically a tribute given uh, by the poet to her mother. She is uh, looking at uh, one of the photographs of her mother, uh, of her childhood. And uh, she is um, just remembering the days spent with her in the past. And she's totally grief stricken. And she doesn't know how to uh, explain her grief on her mother's loss. The loss which has created a great void in her life. And um, she is trying to, uh, you know, overcome the pain, but it is becoming very difficult for her to do that. So let's read the poem from the beginning. The cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling. Now here the poet is remembering her mother by looking at her photograph. Now card the cardboard here refers to the photograph of her mother. That means the cardboard is the frame which is holding the photograph of her mother and uh, she can see you know a snapshot of her mother's childhood the cardboard shows me how it was when the girl, two girl cousins went paddling each one holding one of my mother's hands and she the big girl some 12 years or so there were three girls in the photograph the biggest girl was uh, actually the poet's mother and th the other two girl cousins were holding her mother mother's hands from both sides so there were three girls who were paddling by the seashore paddling in the sense par paddling means walking bare feet in the shallow water of the sea by the side of the sea they were walking enjoying dabbling water with feet or hands each one holding one of my mother's hands and she the big girl who is the big girl here her mother some 12 years or so she was around 12 years old at that time when that photograph was taken all three stood st still to smile through their hair all three two girl cousins and her mother they were standing still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera. Why were they smiling and standing still even when their hair was uh, falling on their faces? They were standing still posing for a photograph. And who was taking the photograph? Their uncle. He was standing there with the camera and was taking their photograph. So all three stood still to smile there through their hair at the uncle with the camera. A sweet face, my mother's. That was before I was born. She realized that how sweet her mother was when she was around 12 years old. In that photograph, she could see that that was before I was born. She was not born by that time. Obviously, she was just 12 years old at that time. So that photograph was taken before the poet was born. And the sea, which appears to have changed less, washed their terribly transient feet. Now here, by uh, in these two lines, the poet is trying to depict a sharp contrast of uh, human life 
with the nature that means according to uh, the poet human life is short lived it's transient terribly transient very short lived but by suggesting this uh, uh, phrase here and the sea she is trying to say that nature is eternal it is everlasting it this implies and the sea which appears to have changed less with time with passage of time sea has not changed or had changed very less while these people especially her mother is no more in this world wash their terribly transient feet if if you take the literal mean, meaning of it where while they were walking on the sea beach they were making footprints which were uh, which were getting washed away every time by the waves so they were short lived footprints but here in these two lines the poet is trying to suggest that human life is transitory it is uh, mortal it is impermanent while nature is permanent nature is mortal nature is eternal so there uh, in these two lines a sharp contrast has been drawn between nature and human life by the poet